Welcome to this gentle evening chair yoga class. This class is fully seated. It has no standing postures or postures on the ground. All you need is a comfortable chair that you can sit tall in. If you'd like to sit now with good posture, palms resting down on your thighs, close down your eyes. Let's see if you can sit quite tall and allow your breath to move in and out naturally. And notice the quality of that natural breath, if it's deep or shallow today. If it has a texture, if it's rough or if it's smooth. If your breath is continuous or if it starts and stops a little bit. Just observe for a moment as you relax your shoulders. Then perhaps invite a slightly deeper breath. If you can, breathe in and out through your nose. Into your belly. And slowly out. Just slowing down from the day. Breathing fully. Relax your shoulders once again. Soften tension from your jaw. Breathe in. And when you breathe out, tilt your head over to the right. Maybe feel in some stretch here on the left side of your neck. Breathe in. And when you exhale, roll your chin down towards your right collarbone and then down towards the chest. And as you inhale, lift your head back up through center. Your eyes can still be closed. When you exhale, tilt over to the left. And now perhaps feel in some stretch in the right side of your neck. Keep your shoulders relaxed and take a deep breath in. And roll your chin down towards your chest. So via the collarbone and down towards the chest. Just taking your time. Inhale, lift your chin. We'll do that another time each side. Head to the right, left shoulder heavy, breathing in and rolling your chin down towards your chest, nice and easy. And breathing in, lift your chin up towards the center, just neutral and over to the left with your ear towards your shoulder. And roll it down on your exhale. Good. Lift your chin to neutral, breathing in. Widen your feet a few inches and let your elbows rest on your knees. Now, if this feels good to you, you could hold here or you can let your hands come down to the floor. Now, if the floor is just a bit too far away, you could grab a book or a yoga block or something to put underneath your hands. Or you could keep your hands, your elbows, sorry, on your knees. And just relax down here. Breathe into your back. Let your whole torso relax. Let the legs relax. Even all the way into the neck. Easy breaths in. Long breaths out. Good. And we'll take a little bit of a side stretch from here. So reach your left hand across in front of your right foot just on the diagonal and if you can get your fingertips to the floor just creep them away a little bit you can move your right arm out of the way if your elbow is on your knee just reach across until you feel the stretch and if you've got your hands on the floor use them as an anchor to help you and then feel like you're heavy in your left sit bone just creating a little bit of stretch through the waist and side of your body relax your neck a bit
Soften your jaw. Soften tension from around your eyes. And we'll come back to the center. Walk your hands back to the middle. Full breath in and out. And then try to the other side. Reach your right hand across. You can move your torso or your other arm wherever you need to. Let's see if you can creep the fingertips far away and then pull back through your right hip and breathe as if you could breathe into that right side of the body, right side of your ribs. Just try and release some stress from the side. Just another full breath here, please, Yogi. Well done. Come back through center. Relax your neck and your shoulders. And carefully come back up the way you went in, elbows to knees. Pause. Hands to knees, sit your way up. Breathe in. Good. You're going to widen your feet. Turn now to your right knee. Stretch your right hand to the ceiling. And bring your left elbow, while you still face your right knee, your left elbow to your left knee. And reach your right hand the way that your left foot is pointing. As you do this again, a side stretch and getting into sometimes the QL, this part of the back can feel really tense and tight from many activities or even sitting creates some tightness here sometimes. So reach over the top with that right hand. And once again, directing your breath into the right side of your body. Using a little bit of leverage, left arm inside of left knee, to help you to continue to face the right knee with your chest. So it's not dipping down towards the floor. Okay, bend your right elbow to release some of this stretch and sit your way back up. Well done. Turn towards your left knee. So your torso faces the left knee. Your left hand stretches up to the ceiling and reach over the top with your right elbow coming to rest on your right knee. So your left hand reaches the way that your right toes are pointing. Your right elbow presses lightly into the inner right knee and helps you to turn your chest towards the left knee, but very slightly up towards the ceiling. And remember to breathe, please, Yogi. Good, bend your elbow, sit your way back up, and turn forwards. Wiggle your feet in, and if possible, cross your right knee over the top of your left. Now, if this isn't comfortable for either your hip or for your knee, you could cross your right ankle over your left ankle. That works too. So sit in either one of these two positions. And if crossing of any sort doesn't feel good, of course, you can still keep your feet next to one another. Open the arms out wide like you've got wings. A little stretch into the chest here as you pull your hands back. And cross your right arm under your left and hold the opposite shoulder. Tuck your chin towards your chest and maybe even bring your knees, elbows a little bit towards your knees. Now breathe into the space between your shoulder blades. So stretch out wide across the upper back. Try to release some tension from there. And exhale, relax your neck. Breathe into the space between your shoulder blades. And out. Lovely yogi. Come back up, release your hands, stretch them out wide. Now bring them in and bring your left hand to your right knee. So it crosses across your torso. Turn to your right and you can put your right hand on the chair behind you just to help you here as you rotate. Another gentle neck stretch, look back. And then glance forwards, take your time to move your head. Stay twisted in your torso, but look over your left shoulder. Good. Come back to neutral with your head and turn it to the right. Good. 
and back to neutral and turn your whole torso back to center. Let's do those same poses on the other side so you can uncross your right leg and cross your left over the right. Now, as I mentioned on the other side, if you'd like to cross lower down because of the hips or the knees or any other reason, or even have them not crossed at all, all of those are fine. You can cross any way or not. Sit up tall, expand the arms out wide. Your left arm this time is gonna wrap underneath your right. Hold the opposite shoulder and round slightly. Let your elbows come towards your knees a little bit. Tuck your chin slightly to your chest. And breathe into again the space between the upper, the shoulder blades, sorry, in the upper back. Another full breath. Sit your way up and extend the arms out. Breathe in and release your hands down. Relax your shoulders, bring your right hand across to your left knee, your left hand behind you, and start to turn to the left. Look all the way back past your shoulder. And forwards over your right shoulder. You'll transition through neutral again and look back. And as you turn to neutral, you can turn your chest forwards, releasing all the way out. Good. Release your feet and stretch your right foot forwards and keep your left knee bent. Put your hands onto your left knee, flex your right foot and lean forwards with a straight or long spine, just stretching into the hamstring or the calf. Another full breath here, please, Yogi. And we'll sit up, slide your right foot in towards you, your left foot away from you, flex your foot, lift your chest up and lengthen out your spine. And as you exhale, lean forward, rest your hands on your right knee. You can close your eyes even here if you feel safe to do so. And stretch into the back of your left leg. And we'll sit our way up, slide your left foot in and widen your feet. Just heel toe them out wide. Shimmy around on your chair and just like you did with your forward fold earlier when the knees were a little closer, start off if possible by putting your elbows on your knees. Make sure you feel okay right here and you could stay here if this feels best to you. And if it feels possible and comfortable, you could maybe reach one or then both hands down to the ground. And again, you could put a block underneath your hands or a book or two if you'd like to bring the ground up to you and relax down as deeply as possible. Letting the torso settle between the thighs, relax your neck, soften tension from your face. There's no rush with your breath. And carefully starting to come up been upside down there for a minute so take your time elbows can come to your knees to help you up and when you're ready to you come all the way up to your seat heel toe the feet back in towards one another and slide back on your chair so that you can lean back into it 
You can cover up your legs or around your shoulders with a blanket. Close your eyes. Let your hands rest in your lap. We'll spend a few moments in stillness, just letting the body relax. And we'll use this time to focus on a breath technique for relaxation. So first off, make sure there's no tension in your legs, in the glutes, in the pelvis, or in your belly. Make sure your shoulders feel relaxed and your arms are resting comfortably. You might move your head a little bit. Make sure the neck feels just right. And continuing now to breathe in and out through your nose. I'd like, please, for you, Yogi, to focus on extending your exhales so that they're a little bit longer than your inhale. You don't have to be too specific with this. Just aware of the length of your inhale. Let it be full and easy. And then the exhale, just a little slower. If you like a little bit of structure, you could count slowly to four when you breathe in and exhale to six. Now, if you don't feel well with this practice, if it makes you feel uncomfortable, simply breathe naturally. But if you feel okay with this long exhale, it can help with downregulation with releasing stress and tension and preparing for a restful evening. Inhaling, long exhale. If you'd like a little longer to rest, you could press pause and just restart when you're ready to finish your practice. If you're making your way to bed shortly, this being an evening practice, there'll be a link up at the top at the end for a sleep meditation that'll help you to drift into a deep restorative sleep. I recommend checking that out if you're making your way to bed soon and letting that help you get a really good night's sleep. And for now, please bring your hands up to a preposition. Thank yourself for practicing, for coming to your mat, for taking time for your body and your breath. And together, let's take a deep breath in. And bow and breathe out. Thank you for your practice, Yogi. Namaste.